This further revised version of Seat's fourth generation Ibiza Super Mini offers small car buyers a smarter set of more eco-conscious high-tech talents. It'll need them if it's to distance itself from its Volkswagen and Skoda-designed stablemates and continue as a credible alternative in this tightly fought segment. On the move, this Ibiza is a little more fun to drive than most of its super mini rivals, uh, with eager corner turning that doesn't appear to have been much diluted by Seat's decision to adopt softer springs and dampers with this revised model. These contribute to a much improved standard of ride quality that previous owners will appreciate. The other key change with this updated Mark IV model lineup is the inclusion of the Volkswagen Group's most up to date small petrol power plant, a one litre three cylinder unit that's being offered here by Seat in all three of its forms. Budget Ibiza buyers get this power plant in its entry level 75 PS normally aspirated form, but it's much better if you can stretch this engine in one of its turbocharged Eco TSI guises. There's a 110 PS version mated to DSG auto transmission, but we'd suggest that the sweet spot in the Ibiza range is occupied by the 1 litre Eco TSI 95 PS manual variant. Here, 62 miles an hour from rest occupies 10.4 seconds en route to 119 miles an hour, yet 67.3 miles per gallon is possible on the combined cycle, along with 98 grams per kilometre of CO2. Also impressively efficient is the 1.4 litre Eco TSI 150 PS petrol model, thanks to its clever cylinder deactivation technology. And of course, the 1.4 litre TDI diesel variants are especially frugal. Buyers offer the choice of uh, 75 and 90 PS options, or the 105 PS version that we're trying here. Whichever Ibiza body style you choose, the three-door SC, this more conventional five-door hatch, or the ST estate, it won't, at first glance, appear to have changed very much over earlier versions of this Mark IV model. But then, few changes were needed. Short overhangs, subtle body creases, and smart, angular headlamps still make this one of the smarter super minis in the segment. Time to take a seat up front, the part of the car into which most of the design budget was poured when it came to this facelifted model's package of changes. Now, that was a wise choice on Seat's part. There was never very much wrong with the way that the outside of this Ibiza looked, but earlier versions always felt dull and cheap and plasticky once you got behind the wheel. This one is much nicer, thanks to many elements borrowed from its larger Leon family hatchback stablemate, uh, including a smarter dash and upgraded upholstery. One of the most visible changes is the redesigned instrument cluster that you view through the now smarter three-spoke multifunction steering wheel. The main gauges are separated by a black and white digital information display that duplicates the carousel style graphics and much of the functionality of the new infotainment screen that dominates the centre of the dash. In its standard 5-inch form, this display is offered in either black and white or colour guise, depending on the trim level you choose. As standard, or as an option, plusher Ibiza derivatives get this particular car's larger 6.5-inch colour media system plus screen, which includes a navigation system with voice control and also comes with a proximity sensor, so it'll sense your finger coming towards it. Whatever screen setup you favour, Seat reckons that you'll want to use this display to duplicate the functionality of your smartphone handset and to view selected apps. That's possible if you get a variant like this one equipped with what the brand calls its full link setup. That's there to work through the Mirror Link, the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay systems. Android users have the added advantage of being able to download two useful apps, the Seat Connect app for stationary use and the Seat Drive app when you're on the move. So the Ibiza at the wheel experience is more media savvy and with equal trendiness, it's also now more personalizable to suit the current market mood. Special optional colour packs enable you to trim the upholstery, the air vent surrounds, the gear knob stitching and the steering wheel either in red, in a velvet colour or in a shade that Seat calls bismuth. Finally, let's take a look at luggage space out back. 
and press in the large Seat logo that doubles as a boot release and the rear hatch of this five door variant opens to reveal 292 litres of luggage space marginally more than the 284 litre total offered by the sportier three door SC body style in summary we're looking here at a car that well like its brand has matured nicely one mindful of the fact that modern day Spaniards need to balance Latin spirit with sober sense in this Ibiza They've a small car that does exactly that.